one eye on the market here to make you profit. All right, what's going on guys? David Hahn back with your real estate update. We're gonna be looking at the market statistics for July, 2022. Uh, we actually did the same segment last month and we looked at, you know, average sale price, days on market, how many new listings were coming on, pending sales, closed sales. And we tried to look at some of those things and decide what factors were going to uh, give us an idea of where the market's going from here. You know, so so we looked at what was happening then. We kind of predicted what might happen from there. And let's take a look and see what's going on now. The average sale price in Tulare County right now is $392,154. Uh, it's up 12% year over year. However, over the last few months, it has been pulling back a little bit. You can see from April to May here, we had a pretty sharp pullback. That was when interest rates hit pretty hard. Um, it did rebound a little bit between May and June, and we've seen it pull back to right about those May levels. Still holding pretty consistent overall, and again, up 12% over the last year, but down around 3%, I would say, 2-3% uh, over the last three months. 223, I mean, it's been sitting right around the same range. Obviously, that wasn't right. This is 224, 225, 223, but I mean, still, all sitting right there in the low to mid-220s, holding very consistent uh, as far as price per square foot. Now, the number of new listings, this is one of the factors that we talked about last month as potentially being something to be concerned about if it continues. Uh, between May and June, we saw a huge influx in new listings in June. Uh, and, and I was basically saying then that right now we've got very low supply. So the idea that the market's going to turn overnight just seems ludicrous to me. However, if new listings continue to climb and we had this huge sharp incline of, of new listings and inventory started to fill out a uh, month supply, we would basically have more homes on the market compared to the number of buyers that we have, you know, then we could start seeing those inflections and we could see prices start to, to take a hit. However, between June and July, we've seen a major drop off in new listings, which um, great for sellers and, you know, good for holding, uh, holding home prices but not what buyers were hoping for, for sure. So if this trend continues or even holds steady, uh, I don't see things changing significantly, at least here locally. You know, the a lot of the metro markets right now are having a hard time. You know, they're being hit hard as far as their home prices because you've got people who can't afford to live there moving out of there and coming to smaller, more affordable locations like Tulare County. So we tend to be more insulated from some of these things than the metro markets that you're seeing on the news. Uh, a lot of that doom and gloom is coming out of those bigger markets. But as I'm saying, right now here in Tulare County, this tells me we have nothing to fear as far as home prices whatsoever. Unfortunately, it also tells me that things aren't going to improve on the supply side anytime soon either. Again, here you see that influx, and then you see the sharp decline between June and July, which says, hey, well, we're probably not going to see the big spike in inventory that a lot of people were hoping for. Uh, the number of homes for sale, again, since the beginning of the year, it's been slowly taken back up, but we saw a pullback between June and July. So um, th that inventory, maybe it's just taking a little break or a little pullback, and it'll continue to rise, or maybe it's plateauing. Uh, but either way, it's not where we need it to be. And pending home sales, very consistent like it was last month. I mean, this is about what we would expect over, over a three-year trend. You can see it's right in line. Uh, closed sales, same thing, a little bit of a drop-off. But with pending sales up last month, that's probably going to equate to more sales next month. Um, so, yeah, when you look at both of these things, you know, if there were fewer homes closing, less buyers in the market, then there would be something to worry about. But, again, very, very on pace with the last few years. No red flags there at this point. Days on market was another weird one, though. This will be an interesting one to talk about because, you know, March and April, we were seeing like six days on the market, seven days on the market, eight days on the market. Very, very low. You know, homes were selling within about a week. And within the last few months, we've started to tick back up. And so it's currently sitting at 12 days on market, the highest it's been all year. And so that's something to watch. Uh, if homes are sitting a little bit longer, you tend to see more price reductions. And we're going to look at a statistic soon that will, will kind of give us an idea of what price reductions are doing. But uh, it's definitely something to watch. If that continues to tick up, homes are sitting on the market longer, that's going to help overall inventory. Because, you know, when we look at inventory, we look at how many homes, if we shut off new listings today, how long could we support the buyers in the market? So when we talk about one month of inventory, two months of inventory, that's what we're talking about. We could support the current buyer flow 
for that long based on the inventory that we have now. So as days on the market ticks up, homes are staying on the market longer and that should improve. We just talked about months of inventory and what that is. We're holding steady at about 1.8 months of inventory. And when we talk about a buyer's market or a seller's market, typically it's like five to six months is kind of that transition point. So if you're talking about six months or more, you're probably in a buyer's market. And if you're below five months, you're definitely in a seller's market. So as you can see at 1.8 months of inventory, we are still very, very much in a seller's market. Um, again, since the beginning of the year, trending back up, but if it levels off, then we're we're still very, very much in seller range. And I don't even think it's a for sure thing we're heading back to a buyer's market anytime soon here in Tulare County. So that remains to be seen. Percentage of list price. So we talked a little bit about price reduction, and this kind of gives us an idea of what's happening um, there. So when it talks about list price, I, I don't... I'm not 100% sure if it's talking about the original list price or once the price is reduced, what the list price is there. Um, but it's telling you that compared to this closed price versus list price, uh, things are closing at 100.7% of list price. So we're still closing on average above the list price, which says, yes, there may be some price reductions on some people that are just going crazy. But overall, we're still seeing homes closing for more than asking. But as we've seen over the last few months, that is ticking down and we might see it back down around 100% here fairly soon. In summary, the average sale price continued to drop a bit in July, but the average price per square foot is holding steady. So home prices are holding very steady um, as rates have gone up and we've seen inventory go up back in June. You know, we expected more of an impact. We haven't really seen it. And with the number of new listings coming in lower in July, I don't think we're going to see it. Um, again, June was the highest month for new listings since April of 2019, so that kind of raised some questions and raised some concerns, but in July, those fell back down to normal levels. So, you know, if we continue, continue to see those spike up, again, that's something to watch, but if not, it's really not a non-factor. Uh, pending and closed homes are still in line with our expectations. The days on market has jumped 50% in the last couple of months, so that's something to watch. And the most homes available for sale since October of 2020 with 1.8 months of supply and that's held consistent over the last few months after rising for a few months before that. So it's very much a seller's market still and it's looking like it will be for a while. Um, but yeah, the things to watch I would say are going to be the number of new listings and possibly the days on market and that list, list price to sale price, you know, to see if we do start to see more price reductions. Someone that said today, ask David, huh? David, huh? David, huh? When they all falling short, pass me the baton. Can't handle your inquiries, it means a marathon. And can't nobody do a better man than David, huh?